So right now, Andrea is dropping Amy and the dogs off at Doc Campbell's. That's about 40, 45 miles away from here, I think. So I should be getting there in about two and a half days. Our trail angel, Mama Hen, Andrea, has graciously drove me all the way to Doc Campbell's area and I have found a camping spot, I believe, until Alex comes. And that will give me about three days to heal up my foot as well as heal up Minnow's foot. We both saw the doctors and we both got the go ahead to keep going, so that's good news. Um, that'll give them an extra few days to rest up, soak in the hot springs, and uh, hopefully heal. And then hopefully by the time I get there, everybody will be ready to hike. So I've got a few days on my own, which will be nice. I do still like hiking on my own. <laughs> Pretty much all my hiking before this has been mostly solo. And that's where I have found most of the benefits from hiking is by hiking alone. Um, but I think I have kind of learned all the lessons that I need to from hiking alone at this point in my life. And um, it's a good thing that I'm hiking with a group now because there's a lot of things that I still need to learn just when it comes to uh, relationship skills and <laughs> how to balance those relationships. Those are the areas that I still have a lot of growth to do. I'm up by Doc Campbell's. We kind of wanted to stay at the hot springs, but that's all booked up and can't really go into the hot springs right now. So I found out a place out here and I've got a nice river, running water, um, rocks to pick, and a great view. So it looks like a good spot for me. Um, I have got a tarp. Alex took the tent. I'm going to set up a tarp for home. And this spot looks like it's going to be home. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting up home for the three days. So Andrea picked us up at that uh, first highway crossing. Took us into Silver City. So that means that we uh, skipped probably uh, 30 of the 50 mile section between Lordsburg and Silver City. So clearly I am not being some kind of purist on this hike. Um, that was something starting out that I kind of wanted to do if it was possible. I like the idea of having one continuous footpath from Mexico to Canada. I just keep reminding myself that that's not really why we're out here. Um, the point of this hike is about healing and spending time in nature. And you don't have to make a continuous footpath from Mexico all the way to Canada in order to do that. The important thing is just to be spending the time out here. So that's what our priorities are. I know a lot of other through hikers don't have the same priorities. And um, they may look down on our decisions. They might think that we're cheating. But we just have a different set of priorities. And that's okay. So we just need to make smart decisions. and. Uh, kind of at least I have to get over my pride and that sort of stubborn pride that I have is something that's always been a kind of a source of strength for me it's what forces me to keep going when my body hurts and it, it's what gives me a good work ethic and I can just grind away because I kind of have pride in what I'm doing to skip sections of trail goes against that pride but Having that kind of pride isn't always a good thing, and sometimes uh, it can get us into trouble, or it can force us to miss opportunities that should be taken. And sometimes that pride can uh, cause problems in relationships too, so I think I need to find a balance. My pride is sort of my source of strength, but it can also cause problems in my life, so um, there are times that I should be listening to it and times that I shouldn't be. And I'm starting to learn which, which times those are. <laughs> so this is the first natural water source that I've seen on the entire CDT. And I'm at like mile 175. We've been relying entirely on water caches and cow troughs basically up until now. The landscape has definitely changed. 
And I think it might be a little bit more forgiving from now on, so it'll be nice. this morning. It's about 25 degrees. hope Amy's doing all right this morning and I hope she slept all right last night because it was pretty cold. I imagine since she's got nowhere to go today she's probably just gonna sleep in. Ick, are you happy to be here? Yeah, plopper cow. So, I decided to leave my wildlife management area. So I got on my app and looked for hot springs areas and I found this one. Um, so I hiked about, I don't know, four miles with this next section's food for me, this next section's food for Alex, this next section's food for the dogs. And then the dogs were carrying their, this section's food on their backs and then I was also carrying this section's food for me on my back um, and a tarp. That was a lot of weight and I am happy to be here. Um, so I am going to set up camp somewhere and then enjoy the rest of the day and then Alex should be showing up sometime tomorrow. You hear that? That's the sound of flowing water. I'm by a river. This will be the first real river that I've seen on this hike. And going to be hiking alongside it, well, mostly through it, for the next eight days or so. This is a Gila River alternate, um, so I'm not on the official CDT right now. But it seems like almost every CDT hiker takes this alternate. It's a little bit shorter and it's incredibly scenic and it takes you right through Doc Campbell's so that's a nice kind of um, place to rest up, soak in the hot springs, do a little resupply and apparently um, it's going to have me crossing the river like 57 times or something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to get my feet wet today. Clear skies over there. Kind of moody over there. Kind of dark over here. Uh, it's only sprinkling right now, so it's not bad, but I did just hear some thunder. So I have a feeling that might get some intense rain, but maybe it'll be short lived. Now it's time to walk in the river. Yep, it's pretty cold. That's not looking good. The rain clouds this morning cleared up without much more than a sprinkle. Had a nice sunny afternoon. 
And now there's another round coming in. And these clouds look even darker. Starting to hear thunder already. Finally time to get out of these wet shoes. Let's see what's for dinner tonight. I think it's gonna be my standard. Ramen, rice sides, Fritos, and Spam. Might even put some of it in a tortilla shell. almost forgot. Andrea's husband Mario gave me this super hot hot sauce called spontaneous combustion. So that's gonna be the final piece of this meal. A couple drops is all you need. <laughs> Gotta be careful with this stuff. Yeah. So for us tonight we will be having half a rice packet, half a ramen packet, some Spam. We're gonna melt some cheese on that and throw in some red peppers, courtesy of Trail Angel, Mama Hen, Andrea, and Mario, and then some jalapeno Fritos. And that is your home cooking on trail. Yummy. Taking wet shoes off at night means that you get to put them back on in the morning. It's always a great way to start the day. It just makes your whole body cold. The river was actually starting to warm up near the end of the day yesterday. It wasn't that bad. But now it's back to being very cold. <laughs> and I think with the rain it's blowing a little bit faster and deeper. I'm trying to stay positive. It's really pretty out right now. With the fresh rain, everything is kind of steamy. There's fog in the air and everything smells really good. Well, this morning started out kind of sunny, looking like it was gonna turn into a nice day. And now it's raining. That's all right. Got about five or six miles to Doc Campbell's. And we'll hang out there and soak in some hot springs. Doesn't matter if it's raining then. It's always a bit of a shock to just look up and see some civilization like that. <laughs> We're living in the wilderness for the past few days and I haven't really seen any form of infrastructure. So I wasn't really expecting to see that bridge when I looked over to my right. Like, oh, I guess I'm getting close. <laughs> That is where what? The punchline was. Yeah. And, 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 and then the the what's fight. left is just uh, not. There you go. I just take 10 minutes. So like, good. 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 Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah. All I get to hear is running water and birds and frogs talking. 
I just gotta sit in the hot springs all by myself for like two hours. Get to enjoy some tea. It seemed like every day, every hour, every minute was just so busy. The past few months. Like, I didn't get to have a break. And I really wanted to take two weeks, a week off the end of work so I could just have that that rest time before we do this because this is amazing but it's hard um, it's hard on the body I and mean, it's gonna get hard on the mind and I just wanted some time to rest I didn't get that time, but that's okay because right now I get a rest. I get to heal my ankle and I'm in a beautiful place too. I haven't had that, that feeling of re release yet, um, but I know it'll come. I trust that it will come and that my chest will just be just relaxed. I'm ready for that. It has been a weird day. This is my second time walking this four mile stretch of highway. Made it into Doc Campbell's post around 10.30 and then find out that they didn't have the package that I was supposed to pick up and that wasn't going to arrive until about 5 p.m. Amy is camped about four miles up I had another hot spring, but I wasn't able to communicate with her when I got here. So I didn't want her worrying because she knew I was supposed to get here today. So I walked this four miles of road to check in with her and see what her plans were. Alex just came by and went back to Doc Campbell's. To be honest, he totally put a, a damper on my, my vibe. He came in and was just kind of his energy was upsetting and I felt like I did something wrong. When he came today, he said that he wanted to stay at Doc Campbell's. He'd rather stay there because there's people there and there's food there. And he went back to go get Echo's booties because they haven't been delivered yet. And they saved those tamales for him and he didn't even seem grateful at all. Kind of just ruined my mood. I burnt my fingers cooking. Just pretty bad. And I was lucky enough to find a ride back to Doc Campbell's. Got the package that I was waiting on. And now I'm walking back to Amy. So just a lot of uh, kind of hectic running around today. Alex is here. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've officially turned into homeless people. Got our tarp shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Not hiking. <laughs> so shiny green. So this has been Amy's home since Wednesday, and it's now... It's Friday. And it's now Friday. I never know what day it is out here. And she's just been hanging out, taking some on-trail zero days. And then that's what we did today. I got in here last night, uh, got to soak in the hot springs late last night, and then just hung out here all day today, just napping getting our food and everything in order, eating all of our excess food because we have a lot of excess food, and just recovering basically. Amy's foot seems to be feeling pretty good, kind of surprisingly good, after she walked all the way over here with probably 60 pounds worth of food and stuff on her back. I think it was more. It was 60 plus. At least 60 pounds. Least. <laughs> it was a lot of stuff. Both of our full resupplies for this next six day section and a whole bunch of dog food and a tarp. <laughs> and 
Minnow seems to be doing pretty good too. Her foot still looks a little bit raw, but she seems to be walking just fine on it. And I think the dogs are ready to go on, and, go on an adventure again. Every time one of us gets up, they follow us like, oh my god, something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they're ready to go tomorrow. And then from here we have a 90 mile section. This will be our longest one yet. I think we'll take one more dip in the hot springs and then we're heading out tomorrow morning. Tadpole. It's the fattest tadpole I've ever seen. Okay, so these hot springs come with a built-in temperature control. Right now this is kind of diverting most of the hot water away so that it doesn't get too hot, but it's kind of cool in there. So we're going to turn the heat up. <laughs> 